today is my favorite day. He made it a special day. What about yours? Is it favorite like mine? Mine is more favorite. It's a teacher annunciator. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Wow, place valley. It's been so interesting. Yes, teacher, we should do this more and more. I know you like simple things. Ah, that's nice. Okay, we have done the place value using the place value chart. We have done the place value using the place value teams before. We have done using counters. But now I want to introduce another number. We have been only talking about ones, tens. Ones, tens. And we ref yesterday when we were talking about tens, I, talk, I told you tens are these numbers. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So some of you, I'm sure they're wondering, where did they get this word ones? Where did they get this one? Tens. Now, when you count our numbers from zero, all these numbers that are single, are you seeing this number? A single digit. This one is a ones. It is ones. It is ones. It is ones. Provided you cannot tie them together like this in a bundle of sticks, it is ones. When I was counting my sticks, I told you, when you count these sticks like this, when it is one like this, it is a one, one. Because it is just single. When it... I put two of them together, they become two ones. When I add the third one, they are three ones. Then when I add the fourth one, four ones. Then five ones. Six ones. Seven ones. Eight ones. Nine ones. So you have seen I've named all the numbers from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine as ones. Why? Because they are single digits. But once I step in these numbers that have two numbers, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, like that, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. They now have a 10 plus a number. A 10 plus another number. So that is why I will say these are tens because they have been tied together in a bundle of 10. So when I make a bundle of 10 from the ones that I've counted as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, they now become a 10. So any number like this that makes a 10, any number that when you put together the sticks, they form a bundle of 10. It becomes a 10. So this one is a 10. This is a 20. This is a 30. When they are together, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Now I want to introduce to you, after I've added the 10s, I've added 110. These are 2 tens. These are 3 tens. These are 4 tens. These are 5 10s, 6 tens, 7 tens, 8 tens, and 9 tens. Which number follows the 10? When you've counted all the 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, which number follows the 10? This is 9 tens. Which number follows the 10? It is 100. Now look at 100. Tens had, has only one zero. Are you seeing? Tens has only one zero. What about 100? 100 now is having two zeros. Can I now put... Now, let me see. These are my... My place value tins like this, place together. We have said now because there are 100, we now increase the tins from 10. They are now 100. So how many tins do I have on the board? I have hundreds. I have tens. And I have ones. So when I'm told, now, represent this number 100 using the place value tins. What am I supposed to do? How many? 
I'm supposed to use the, I'm representing 100 using the place value 10. So what am I supposed to do? I am going to use the place value chart. Are you seeing my place value chart? My place value chart has now how many? Three boxes. I have the ones, I have the tens, and I have the hundreds. Now, how many boxes do I have? Three. The same way I have three tens. So what will happen? Which number is in the ones place value? There is nothing in the place value. We said zero is nothing. Which number is in the tens place value? It is nothing in the tens place value. So which number do we have in the hundreds place value? Hundreds place value has only one. Have you seen? So when I place it like that, it now becomes one hundred zero tens and zero ones. And one hundred is a number written like this. Have you seen how 100 is written? 100. Now, when I now add another one on this 100, it becomes 101. When I add a two, it becomes 102. But not, I'm not going to go here now. I want you to understand first the place value of hundreds, how it is written. As simple as that. So that when now I am told, can you write 100 and we said and means do you remember when you're talking about plus we said we can say and make put together add which other name add other name sum all those represents the word add addition so we are saying when now we continue and we are talking about 103 for example if they are told you are told put represent these numbers in the place value tins will come with your sticks. What will happen? What will happen? You use the place value chart. So when they say 101, it is 101. 101 is simply found, found by adding 100 and means a plus one. Remember one is in the ones place value. So you are able to add them together and you get 101 but this one i will help you when it comes to writing numbers in words are we together when you come to writing numbers in words and figures this is where we are going to do more about this for today let me leave at that point but remember the place value tens will only move to hundreds if you have three numbers remember this one represent ones this one represents tens. This one represents hundreds. So when you have three numbers, that is when you now get how many plus value tens? Three plus value tens. So 100 is equal to how many hundreds? Is equals to one hundreds. Have you seen? One hundreds, zero tens, and zero ones. Up to there. Is there a problem? Now, during your own free time, using the plus value tens, we have said you find the plus value of this number, you find the plus value of this number, you find the plus value of this number, find the plus value of this number. So most of the time, you will be written for dash tens, dash ones. But here, it now changes to dash hundreds because we now have three numbers dash tens and dash ones then when you come here it becomes dash tens and dash ones so you're filling in the missing numbers you're filling in the missing numbers so that tomorrow when you meet i want to show you how to write numbers in words are we together? Am I clear? Is that okay to everyone? I wish you all the best and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you.